All right, welcome to Two Woke Boys, episode 101. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke Woke Boys. Boys. (sighs) That is the sound of a firework because we are not celebrating the 4th of July because we hate this country. Uh, I am wearing red, white, and blue, but not for America. I am wearing red, white, and blue for uh, France. And for Great Britain. Okay. For other countries, uh, diverse countries of. The Dominican Republic, perhaps? Are they red, white, and blue? I believe so, yeah. Fuck yeah. You know what? Cuba, also, I think. I'm trying to think what their flag looks like. Look, as long as it's not an American flag, then I'm 100% for it. Yeah. Even though we live in America and it kind of rules here, we don't think that. No, that's what other people think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We hate it here. We're like those people that like, you know, they come here like for a better life and then mm-hmm. they're like, this fucking sucks here. And they like get a, you know, like multi-million dollar deal working on a television show and then their show is like how much America sucks. Right. That's what we're all about. Yes. Like America sucks, but I left my shitty third world country to talk about how much America sucks. But we've lived here the whole time, so we know it. Amer- but America does suck. Th- that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. We're saying it sucks. Yeah. When we when we were at Fourth of July parties, lighting off fireworks and just crushing four locos with the boys, we were we were like, um, America's bad. And then watch. Were fireworks. you invited to any of those parties? No, absolutely not. Okay. They were like, "Do you live on this street? Why are you launching?" Right. Ex- Who do you know here? And and also, can you put the can you point the fireworks at the sky and not into someone's windows of their house? And right. it's like, and there then someone's like, "Oh, that's uh, they used to date." And I'm like, "Hey, look, I accidentally tipped over the firework, you know." And then they were like, "You were aiming it directly into the house." Yeah, you know? I was wondering how all those fires started. Yeah, I mean it's a whole thing, but you know, yeah. fire, fireworks are dangerous, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. And um, sometimes they go off in your ex girlfriend's house, and there's, it's an accident, you know. Yeah. So I was just trying to celebrate America. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was that was a really great monologue. You kind of mm-hmm. started off the show on about how much we hate the Fourth of July because yeah. we do, and yeah, we and, do, and it doesn't just stem from bitterness over the fact that we weren't invited to any parties, mm. so we had to crash all these parties yesterday, and you know, set off fireworks right mm. into our ex girlfriends' houses, mm. and uh, you know, other acts of terror like yeah. that. But we 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 wouldn't call it acts of terror, right? It, we would call it celebrations of freedom. Yes. But we, but we would freedom. be making air quotes yeah. and saying, "Freedom, it. oh freedom!" Yeah. Yeah. That's how we would say it. Oh, we we liberated ourselves from the British. Yeah, hey British, suck our dicks. Hey, light my sparkler. Throw those snaps on the ground and yeah. light a snake. Yeah, remember we're, those? We're definitely on the side of the British historically. Mm. Yeah. What did the British Empire ever do that was so bad? I mean, they were nothing dream- nearly as bad as America. Can you believe how bad America was? We were so mad at the British that we threw their tea in the fucking water. I would never waste tea. Uh, me neither. I love, I love tea. tea. We fucking love and teas. just going to coffee shops and just sipping it and mm-hmm. just kind of scanning the room yeah. for any. And you know, I and you got my, your laptop I got my there. Laptop You're, locked yeah. and loaded. I, yeah. I bring a full on desktop, desktop computer. Yeah. yeah, and all the wires and the are tower there. And yeah, everything. the towers yeah. there. A fucking thirty seven inch monitor. Nice. All that. Yeah. I'm charging all my batteries and my my car batteries charging in there yeah. and shit. Just writing a screenplay that so says much, the title, and right. it says pending title, and right. then it's blank page. Right. And I'm just crushing. But you have started it. You did type I up did, the title page. Yeah, and I mean, think of the work it takes to bring a desktop tower to a coffee shop and then find one outlet that you can plug your... Because i got to bring a power strip, too. A power too. strip, right. Yeah, because, I mean, one outlet... I mean, that, that's... Are you kidding me? i got 75 things to plug in. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, you know... It's just a whole thing. And we love tea, so we're drinking tea there. And I can't believe Americans would be such dicks that they would throw tea right. in the ocean. Unbelievable. Pollute the ocean. Yeah. Although tea is good for 
the environment. Stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know how like there's always like use green tea for like literally what if you have AIDS, drink a green tea. If you get shot in the chest, pour like a green tea on it. Who says that? I don't know. Fucking people that do, you know. Okay. Those holistic, homeopathic yeah, healers. Yeah, they, yeah, they're always like, hey, cut a leaf off of a thing and rub it on your, you know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, we are that way with certain things. Yeah, we're know? into natural healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, except for the vaccine. Where, yeah, oh, right, one, uh, well, that is natural. Is it? Sure. Okay. Of course, uh, I mean, we're natural boys, and that is that counts as natural. Got even it. though it was made in a lab. Yes. So, yes. Yes. And yet yeah, we all also are very natural when it comes to like all our essential oils that mm -hmm. we have here. Yeah. We're both great masseuses. Mm -hmm. We can give you a nice massage. We with have our strong grips. Strong. I mean, just, like we can, ah, we, can just we could flaws, kill you with our hands, but, but we, we won't. would never do we that. We would never no. do that. We know exactly the point of like when we're. Like if I'm massaging your neck, okay, I'm just fucking really laying into yeah, it. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's. But I know exactly how much is too much. Yeah, I don't not because be I have any experience. Anyone. Yeah, during going too far with that. Yeah. but I don't. Okay. So, but yeah, I mean, it's glad you clarified. And it's that. also with your consent, so that's also part of it. Yes, that's good to hear. So, so yeah, we hope all our listeners listening out there that we hope you had a terrible July Fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, oh, did you do any any barbecuing? Lighting off fireworks, grilling. Yeah, how many just, holidays just are there? The, the pigskin around, around the beach. Yeah. Oh, watch some baseball. Watch a guy hit a, a ball with a wood bat. Mm. And, and, and drink some white claws and beers. Maybe jump into the pool. Yeah, cannonball. Yeah. Cannonball. Let me just cannonball into the pool. Oh, and belly I'm a flop! Big fat Let's, guy, yeah, I'll so do just the, the water goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! Do you see Jerry? Jerry cannonballed into the pool. It was so funny because he's so fat. <laughs> it's not fucking funny. It's not funny. How dare you? So, mm -hmm. I'm just you know. We've we've had enough of that. Kind we've of, had enough not, of July Fourth, and it, again, it's not because we were not invited to any. Yeah, parties ourselves. and also we can't be the center of attention for being a fat guy jumping into the pool. Right, it's not that. Right, so yeah, it's sorry just, that we're just so toned, jacked, and yeah, we, yeah, we just, I mean, we, just we right can't show of off jacked. our, yeah, yeah, like, not, we're not a, like an this intimidating old, toxic, amount. masculine. Jack, yeah, we're not like, those guys. We're not, we're not oh, carrying around a Donkey Kong barrel of yeah. protein powder. Our bags, oh, yeah. fucking drink my protein right, powder. Right. We're not doing that. No, we're not talking about. Oh, how let many, me put my belt on. Let yeah. me put my belt on to. to yeah, go maybe to the gym. don't lift that thing that's gonna fuck your back yeah. up. Maybe don't lift that much shit. God, you fucking idiot. We fucking hate yeah. men. But uh, we're also not these dad bod losers either. No, we're not fat pieces of shit. Yeah. We're like pretty jacked, but like not an intimidating jack. Just the perfect jack. amount of yeah. yeah. Like if you are an, a workout enthusiast type girl you would like enjoy the amount that we go to the gym, but it's not going to be crazy. Right. And if you're crazy, that's cool. We'll also kind of be as close enough. Yeah. And if you want us to like go to the gym to work out with you and take like partner fitness picks, mm -hmm. we are not fucking doing that shit. Yeah. Okay. So no, stop we're not doing asking. That, no. Stop. Also, leave us alone. Also, do you think you're going to spot me? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I, I need at least three to four women to spot me. Yeah, but and it's not a sexual thing. Although I am going to ask for their phone numbers so they can spot me like later too. Right. You right. Know what I mean, and we will be. And don't get us wrong. We will be going. Like, yes, yeah, stay away from us when we're going to the gym. Mm -hmm. But when you're going to the gym, we're going to go with you just to yeah. make sure that no other guys are like hitting on you or looking yeah, at yeah. you. It's like, hey, were you looking at my girl? Were you mm -hmm. looking? I saw you looking at my girl. You looking at my girl? Like and what you we'll, see. You know, yeah, well, too bad. You can't have her. She's mine. Yeah. And then we go and start a fight with that guy. And yeah. that's just because we're protectors. And yeah. we're like, sorry that we're just alpha we, we just We care about the women in our lives men. so much. And it, sometimes like, women are like, I don't know that guy. And it's like. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that with girls. We'll get we to know, know you. Too. We'll, uh, I'm sorry that we were just trying to protect you because, you know, we don't want some scumbag guy right. following you to your car, which is why I followed you to your car. Right. Right. I mean, I just care so much. Yeah. Like, what if some scumbag guy followed you all the way to your car? 
thank God I was here to follow you to your to car. To be the guy yeah. who did exactly yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, and like that's, it looks like there's air out of your tires. That's crazy. I guess I, I can I give you. I guess I can give you a ride. I can give you a ride. She's and, like, it looks like they've been slashed. Yeah, and like, she's wow, like, do you have a weird. knife sticking out of your pocket? Like one of those like clip-on yeah, well, knives? I'm like, well, I mean, it's, I just, I, it's my everyday yeah. carry. Yeah. I open boxes with it. Right. So, I mean, it's totally unrelated. Right. But, you know. Also, you know, it's important to, because usually women don't know nearly as much about They don't know anything about cars either. Or fitness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they really don't know anything about anything, which is why they need to have us around. That's a good point. Women don't know anything and they need a man around like us. They need to explain explain everything to them. Mm -hmm. Someone call that mansplaining, but it's just, it's it's educating. uh, Yeah. We are educating. We are teachers. We're professors, even. Exactly. I mean, we look very professional. Professorial. Professorial, yes. Yeah. See, we both knew that word, and that was right. pretty good. So it's important to, whenever we go to the gym, yeah, whether it's screaming at other men to back off, let's say, get off my bitch. <laughs> right, stop, hey, get off stop my bitch. Stop looking at my girl. It's important also that we're having a frequent, <laughs> a frequent dialogue with the women themselves there too and be like if they're because usually they have their headphones in right they're kind of doing their thing with their headphones like you know i see sometimes i'll see women going there and doing like um they'll they'll be doing like shoulder raises they'll have like Mm -hmm. three pound dumbbells Mm -hmm. doing like shoulder raises or or bicep curls or tricep kickbacks with like these dumbbells that are are like under five pounds and then i'll I'll go up to the women and say like hey like take it out take it Mm -hmm. out like motioning to them to like take out their their earphone and they finally do and i'm like sometimes they don't hear me because they got the music i'm like hey take it out take out the fucking earphone and then and at that point that definitely does get her attention Mm -hmm. so she because i mean there's only uh, most most of the people in the gym take out their earphones at that point right and then some people start recording the whole thing (laughs) You know, there's like, a lot of yeah. About to happen. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, but it's nothing. It's nothing weird. You know, yeah. she takes out. I'm just like, well, there's a lot of influencers at the gym. That's right. why they're recording, probably. Right. So she she takes it out. I'm just like, hey, I couldn't help but notice. You know, you were doing all these lightweight isolation exercises. Uh, you're not going to make a lot of progress with that. Mm-hmm. What you need to focus on is full body compound movements. Yes. And then why don't you come over with me? And mm-hmm. I'm going to show you, see, this is the hex bar here. We're going to do mm-hmm. some hex, hex bar deadlifts. This trains the whole body. Mm-hmm. It gets your your lower half going, your hamstrings, your glutes, because, you know, that's really important to have mm-hmm. just strong you gotta glutes. you got to have strong yeah, also, glutes. Yeah, also sure. it's, you know, upper body too, your grip strength and, mm-hmm. you know, shoulders, arms, everything is involved. So why don't you come over with me? I'm going to demonstrate how to do some uh, hex bar deadlifts with you, maybe even spot you on somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of right behind you and mm-hmm. I'm just kind of yeah going right up and yeah, down with nice. you. I love that. And she's like no, I'm doing yeah. my own workout. I don't know who you are. Yeah. And then it's a whole thing then, you know, the someone comes over and like kicks me out of the gym and like says I can't come back That's and That's crazy. So they, they yeah. just don't want you to work out there. They, they just don't, don't they don't they want you to be want me fit. To help. They're jealous well, of how fit you are. Right. And the problem is, you know why that is? It's they say it's because of like harassment and mm-hmm. like solicitation, but what it really is is they don't want anyone giving away fitness advice for, uh, for free. That's exactly what. Cuz they want is. their personal trainers yeah. to be making all the point. money because yeah. when they have good guys, nice guys mm-hmm. like me just giving, giving away out information because you're a good for guy. Free. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want that. Yeah. Because, yeah. um, you know, they think that would lose the money. So they kick me out of the gym, blacklist me. They say, if you ever come mm-hmm. back here, we're calling the police. And it's just it's it's unfortunate. I mean, the same thing happens haters, to me. You must be doing something. Uh, exactly. Right, you know, and exactly. I have a lot of haters mm-hmm. at that. We, the two woke gym, boys yeah. have a ton of haters. Yeah. And it's unfortunate. And really no likers. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much yeah. all haters. Yeah. It's a lot if of haters. You have all haters and no one supporting How you, much right are you doing when everyone right. hates you? Yeah. yeah. When everyone hates you, you are doing so much right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you should question what you're doing. Yeah. And it shouldn't be a reflection of yourself right. and go, like, wow, oh, maybe everybody hates me. Maybe I'm yeah, a dickhead. Everyone head. hates me. Hmm. I guess everyone else, else sucks. Is, everyone I'm the only sucks good one. but me. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good point. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I try to get women, you know, I, I also am a very focused uh, on the full body compound yeah, workout. Especially the thing. lower half. Yeah. yeah, for women, for sure. Because right. women, all your power is going to come from your, your lower yeah. half, right? Yeah, all their power and explosiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where mine, my, my, mine all comes from my core area, like yep. kind of around my hips and yep. my, my groin area. That's where all my power is. Okay. I have a lot of power in my groin. Okay. Right? So, because I do a lot of thrusts, and I thrust with so much force and right. explosiveness, right? And I know you like doing the thing where you ask a girl, you'll approach a girl, be like, hey, how much do you weigh? Mm -hmm. She'll yeah, be yeah. like, um, 110 pounds. I don't even do that at the gym, and I just you... ask them wherever. Okay, like and when then I you meet go, a woman. And then you go over to like the hip thrust machine and then put exactly their weight mm -hmm. on the bar and then start yeah. start doing yeah. that. Yeah, I'll, I'll be like, thrust. oh, that's how much you weigh? And they'll just be bam! And then just like ripping through those fucking thrusts. <laughs> They're like, you're going to break the machine with how much force you're generating on this machine. Right. And it's like, hey, I'm sorry that the machine can't handle. I, maybe I'm a machine. Maybe that's what you call me. Wow. When I break this machine with how much I fucking thrust through it, I'm the machine. Yeah. It's and like now what you they get called, on me. They used to call Albert Pujols the machine. Nice. But yeah. you are the real machine. I'm the real. Chris he's Columbus. a bitch, yeah. dude. He yeah. sucks. Yeah. I'm the machine. So right. maybe, and then once that machine breaks, I will, I will take you, you know, the woman over to the squat area, right? And then, you know, there's like, you need a spot, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get under you, right? Right. And I'm gonna like lay down under you, and I'm gonna tell you to come, keep coming down, keep coming, keep going, keep going. Yep. And then I'm gonna grab you by the hips, and then just place you down, and then I'm gonna like keep kind of going like that, and then just like that's how you do it, you know? Okay. And then I'll and I'll be like, you you should feel it right here in your glutes, you know? Right. And then I'll kind of hump up against it and be yeah, like with, that's how you do it yeah with her consent if, yeah if of she course wants that, uh, and look this isn't a workout podcast so we should probably move yeah, on we should I guess. probably move on but because there is a lot to cover mm, mm. but and we hate like don't get us wrong we hate working out and fitness as we've talked about before mm. fitness is based in white supremacy oh yeah and that's right. what what were the other stuff um fat phobia fa oh fat fo oh yeah yeah fat yeah. phobia thank you Anyone who works out regularly is fat phobic. You hate fat people if well, you think work about, out. Some think girl about on let's TikTok said let's that. think about the weight loss terms of burning fat. Wow, that's were you gonna I, light a fat person on fire? Exactly, that sounds horrible. That sounds. I mean, bad. you wouldn't do that to a person of color, right? No, that's fucked up. Yeah. So obviously, burning fat is it's just unacceptable. So right. That kind of language we don't like, so. Right, the only reason that one works out is because they hate, they have a hatred of fat people. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the fact that maybe they want to get into better shape, to look better, to feel better, yeah. to have but natural antidepressant properties going through. But even that, even that is like through, rooted in rooted fat in phobia. Rooted in fat phobia, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to look better than a fat person? Or, That's which is implying that a fat person, person looks doesn't bad. look yeah. good. Which is, yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Fat people are, are beautiful. Are the most beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, if you're if you're a woman that, like, kind of used to be fat and, like, is self-conscious about it and lost a bunch of weight and is, like, just if you're kind of a that, smoke show Yeah, now, if you're someone like Adele who used to be very uh, overweight and just lost all of it and now she's probably got some like you kind really of seated yeah you, she, she's got that like I, i'm a fat bitch kind of mentality right. where she's like no one will like me right. and then when we show her a little bit of attention she'll be like i can't believe he likes me right because she still has that internalized the fatness that right is, they're, they're still in the mentality mm -hmm. of being fat and but, then also she probably has still maintained some of that body positivity in her tits and ass area that's which right. is uh you know it weight is lost unevenly and can be tough and yeah. you know but we support body positivity especially in yeah. your we tits support our voluptuous area. queens and mm. yeah if you're a woman who used to be overweight lost a ton of weight and now you're kind of like quote unquote Smoking normal hot. size yeah. hot yeah but still have the mentality of being overweight hit us up in our dms we actually specialize in 
healing those types of women who are yeah. just still very like unconfident and vulnerable and will just go for any man mm -hmm. who shows them attention yeah. and, and we will be those men. Yeah, any of those vulnerable, broken women that yeah. just need male attention, right. that's where we really yes. shine. Yeah, oh yeah. With those kind of women. That's right. That just need male attention and are starved for it. And we kind of swoop in and just, some people call it love bombing, where, where you just come in and you're just like, boom, just shower so them much, with love and so affection, much. Yeah. And then immediately the phrase sexuality kicks in and you're right just in. out yeah. of there and just ghost for yeah. a little bit. Full ghost mode. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, yeah, we hope that, I mean, if any of you listening to this podcast, if you work out, that's fucked up, you're fat phobic. If mm -hmm. you spent Fourth of July uh, throwing the ball around, throwing the Frisbee or the, the baseball or the football or, like, or the cornhole. I like how throwing the Frisbee has become part of that alpha. You know what? It yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. boy, it's a beach volleyball. Yeah. Oh, Spike, bro. Oh, let, nice dig. You ever oh, seen Spike set. Ball? Spike Ball? Is that the, with like with the, the little trampoline? Oh yeah, that's are, popular now at, yeah. at the beach. I see yeah. all these very toxic men playing mm -hmm. it all the time. And then I go in and just kind of like flip over the thing. Yeah, you flip I'm over like, the thing, kick their ball into the ocean. I'm like, you shouldn't be playing this right now. And they're yeah. like, Cole, is this because they're like, we know who you are. You Cole, lost is the that, last game. Yeah, is that because, yeah. yeah, we just didn't invite you because you make a scene here every yeah, time. You, and we, we invited us. you to board game night and you flipped over the board. Right. It's like, well, you know, I I feel like Monopoly is capitalism, and that's bad. Yeah. And, like, it's not equal. Right. So what we should do is I'll be the banker, I'll I'll get all the money, and then I'll disperse evenly all of your, you pieces of shit, get, like, a little bit of whatever. Right, but all but, the same amount. But, yeah, and then I keep everything. The most, yeah. most of it, yeah. yeah. They're like, that's... Where's the game then? It's just but, like but if that, everyone gets the equal amount, where's the fun in the game? Well, I'm and having fun being I'm the banker. I'm having fun, be, right? Yeah, being the banker is fun for me. Yeah, because I'm winning. Yeah. So, and then you guys are allowed to do your stupid bullshit. Yeah, God, we yeah. love communism, and we hope it comes to America mm -hmm. because true communism hasn't been tried yet. No, you know. No. It hasn't been done the right way. They haven't done it right yet. And but, they need someone like us. To right. Kinda, to kind of lead the charge. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah, what we were talking about, we went on this tangent about fitness, which we hate. If you are, if you work out or stay active or did any 4th of July physical activities, fuck you. Mm -hmm. You're fat phobic. There's a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, the Roe v. Wade overturning <sighs> is still dominating the news. And it's so... How dare you? Yeah, to it's that. very. That's what we have to say about upsetting to us. You know, uh, it's you know, it feels like they've set women back fifty years. Whoa! Did you just come up with that? I, I'm gonna say yes, but okay, definitely. I mean, we even I, though we played, we played a clip literally a, played yeah, a clip of someone, of someone else, else saying putting it. that audio bite in their dating app. Mm, yeah, yeah, but. But he probably heard us. He probably say copied it, it yeah, from your yeah. Twitter. There's like a unreleased episode that's like probably floating around somewhere yeah. that he picked probably up. Probably hacked it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Found it on the dark web or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what it is. For sure. So so yeah, women have been set back and now I mean Republicans aren't done. A lot of them are proposing to have like checkpoints at state border crossings. So women who are going from like a red state to a blue state to seek an abortion ha are like stopped and they're like found and, and charged with crimes and stuff. So wait, so if you're going, a, so like, let's say you live in a state that doesn't allow abortion now. So now you go across state lines to go get an abortion. They want to like be able to extradite you or like charge. So, so you can be in a car and then there's like a fucking stop right there. And then they'll be like, oh, it looks like uh, it's just you driving, lady. Right. Or is it two people in that car? Right. Yeah. What, what's going on? Are you just fat or what's going on in your belly there, lady? Yeah. Is that what they're going to do? Or I mean, like, that, that's. What the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, it's crazy. So if like, that it's happens. Like if they, but they, there's, there's so many things that are like state, you know, laws or whatever, where it's like, like. For example, like is Fourth of July, so fireworks, right? Right. Like, 
Is there going to be someone like at the state border? Like, are those black cats that you got coming back in here? Right. Are you, did you get? Did you go across state lines to get that fucking snake, or those little snaps you throw on the ground? Yeah. Go, Psh, those little things. Yeah. Is that what they're going to do now? I don't know. That's crazy. But that is crazy, and that could happen. So, again, we want to stress that we have no checkpoints to getting into the two woke boys studio. Mm -hmm. I guess the only checkpoint would be your access to viewing your Instagram. So yeah. you, you got to have a public profile mm -hmm. or send us some pictures. We have to know just, just ID verification, mm -hmm. photo ID verification, which is racist yeah. when it comes to voting. But for yep. this, we, we just need to, the only ID you need to get in here to our studio is a picture and the driver's license picture is not enough mm -hmm. because that doesn't show the full, full body, picture and yeah. we have been burned we uh, also one too many times we advocate for driver's licenses to show full body pics yes you know right. like why why just the headshot right why not the full body pic and no i'm not talking because it also says the weight on there but right. like i want to see you can what say, i want to see how that weight's distributed you can say in the picture do you know that you can just say whatever height and weight you want like they don't measure you well, you can also either. say whatever gender you want on there too now mm. you can which we like, support yeah we love yeah. that and you can be like gender x gender or x, whatever yeah. like not you know not i think you can put non-binary and all that stuff on nice there too. yeah it's great yeah and yeah, we, there should be full body pictures on there. And no, we're not talking about the pictures that go just to the a bust, the the, the, the bust, bust pic. picture, yeah, yeah. yeah, which we support. Which bust. We we if do. you're a busty lady, we love a bust. <laughs> yeah, but don't think we're fooled by those pictures where yeah, I mean, you could have they, huge tits where that they are just, like kind of where they just end right at kind of the peak. Yeah, of, sometimes that's like okay, you got huge tits yeah, but, but what, what else is what else huge? is going on what yeah. else is huge there and we have been burned which we support all of that yeah. stuff but like we'll decide how much we're going to support you right based on the full body pick right because we're about uh the two woke boys are about uh transparency yes we want to see through you and that's why you know you should be nude and also with your full, consent yeah, yeah and full body and full, you know what? This is what I should say on the on the driver's license issue. Full body nudes on the driver's license. Okay, that seems maybe a little and more then, than necessary. And then, but. then the two woke boys will become a bouncer at a, at any bar in the Los Angeles area. Right. How sick would that and be? And do to the be a, do the pat downs, but only yeah. for only for women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, because. You know. We don't need to pat down men. That's yeah, that's, kinda, that's, yeah, that's kind of gay. gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not June anymore. So right, right. We're not. Hey, Pride was cool, but that's over. Right. We're done with. We're done with that. Yeah, I mean, we support you, but yeah. but well, not in our get, house. Get away yeah. from me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right, but we. I mean, can't stress enough. We are such allies to the we're gay the, community. We're the biggest allies. But we're not going to pat down men because no. that's what. Oh, let me pat your arms and your hips and your your legs like yeah, it's okay like, oh, you missed a spot right it's like no i'm good yeah i'm good on that yeah so we will just be patting down women at mm -hmm. you know at the bar yeah and then i will and and i'm all about equality so after i pat you down to enter the bar you now have to pat me down okay for equality okay right yeah so when i you know i'm and i'm real thorough so you also got to be real thorough. Nice. So really go after it there. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's great. So, so yeah. Uh, what else is going mm. on? Um, the there's this article in the L.A. Times: Coronavirus easier to get, harder to avoid in California, and mentions all these high-profile people, even people who are very publicly vaccinated and boosted sometimes multiple times even they've gotten it which is a good reminder that we're still in a global pandemic okay don't that, think i see too many people being like oh back in the pandemic i always correct them i'm like um it's still the pandemic Yeah, you mean now you mean now you mean forever back now yeah it's still a global pandemic okay that's a good point yeah yeah, I don't. I, enough of these people saying, "Oh, back in COVID times, back during the pan." It still is the pandemic. Come on, man. I'm sick of these people going outside, 
and having not wearing fun. masks, having fun, enjoying yeah. life. It's like you're really going to enjoy life at a time like that. And if there's any like pictures or videos of me of like also going out mm. maskless and big groups of people. We're like, media partying class, and, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're media, different. Yeah, we do, we're media class. Yeah, we're Even exempt. though we weren't filming anything or doing anything media right. related at that time. But right. it's still. We're, we're, yeah. We're always working in the media because when we are out, we're just observing. Yeah. You know, so that's important to distinguish that. Yes. We're still in a global pandemic mm -hmm. and hopefully always will Did be. Did it say that there was like, are there, there's going to be like measures to do more? Maybe. Hopefully. Great. That's we need fantastic we should just preemptively close down everything just in just i mean in that's kind of what they did the first time yeah i mean they're like hey it's flu season people are getting sick and here we go you know so let's do that again yes because that definitely worked definitely was very effective yes and didn't ruin and the didn't entire cause world a ton of collateral damage mm. and with the economy causing... with people's lives and jobs with mm. kids yeah. schools it definitely had all positive it's effects. It's only been positive. So, yeah. And you know, I'm I'm glad COVID happened because mm -hmm. it gave me a chance to just kind of to just kind of work on me. Yeah. You know, yes, yeah. we I love that needed, kind of content. I just needed yeah. a break. You yeah. know, I loved articles that were like, you know, it made me feel comfortable in being a loser. You know, that yeah. was a good. I article. just had to work on me, and it's. Like, I got to bake a loaf of bread and you know fucking beat off at my job because i work yeah. at home now right right and like all these people like the hustle culture bros rise like, and grind rise and gr oh use this use this time this downtime to like write a book or or make a movie or start a business it's like you don't have to feel guilty yeah. for that you didn't do any incredible you are project enough. you are enough okay yeah. We love that yeah, kind of content. Right, you, right. you are enough. Hey, I don't know if I don't know if anyone told you today, but you are enough. Yeah. And if you're You're trying your best. Yeah. You're doing your best. Yeah. All by your damn self. Nice. You know? Nice. Yeah. You are doing your best. Yeah. Yeah. So, All by your damn self. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's how we yeah. Yeah. And you got you got to say it like a like a, like a overweight black, queen. black yeah. lady, yeah. right? Yeah. Or what, you have to say it like a well. Well, gotta, there's like you there's gotta, the pipe. oh by your damn self. Oh, nice. You know, the you gotta, circular. Yeah, you yeah. gotta circle your head and yeah. do that shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's like the SAS pipeline, of yeah. course. You know, started with black. It's like white. Like, it's like it's like white women imitating gay men imitating it's, black women. Yeah, it started with. Started with black women. Okay, then gay that men. Gay men culturally appropriated. But what about them, gay, and then, gay and black then white men? White women appropriated that. What's that? Did it start with gay black men? Oh, maybe. Because it's like it started. Someone that started it was black for sure. Black queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which either, we support. By it was the way. either an overweight black woman yeah. or a gay black dude. I'm not sure which one it was. Probably black women. Okay. And then gay men. Yeah, because gay off. gay black men and are white, and now white women are using that lingo mm -hmm. from gay guys mm -hmm. who ripped it from black women, yeah. and now we are ripping it from white women. Yeah, but we because we are on the pulse of what's going yes, on because but, we're literally at the end of that entire right. thing. Yes, like we're if you're seeing us do that for the first time and you're like, wow, that's like a cool thing. It's been going on for right forever but we are not culture vultures no we are the culture we yeah exactly yeah we lead the culture right even though we were literally so we actually well actually we're, we regurgitate the most well, popular we're first, opinion it's circular so maybe we started exactly it's like a chicken sassy. it's and like then, a chicken and egg situation right it's like who's who started like we're the, the egg and the chicken who, who started the the sassy speak and we are we are sassy and, boys right that's for sure so who started it us the two woke boys or i would say us probably. or kind of uh husky <laughs> black women yeah. husky black women and gay <laughs> black dudes right yeah definitely us yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah. even though then some might say you know 
there's been you know people have talked like this since before you two were even like born but well i mean sure but we, we are, started it. yeah we yeah. totally started yeah we, whatever we started it, right, right. Yeah. So I forgot what we were, we're the even in, talking about. Yeah, we're we, the leaders in culture and uh Yes, yeah, we know. are the leaders and whatever. Um speaking of leaders, girl bosses, Ghislaine Maxwell was sentenced to twenty years in prison for sex trafficking sex trafficking minor girls for Jeffrey Epstein. And we just wanna say this tri I mean, that trial and sentencing made us sick. Cause it's like how dare they? Women are just taking lock L's. up a woman for just starting to, start a starting a business. Yeah, an yeah. entrepreneurial woman mm -hmm. trying to make a business happen, and they lock her up for it. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Yeah, she did nothing wrong, by the way. Yeah, yeah. it was all Epstein's fault and all the other men who it, she yeah. was involved. She with. She was just trapped in a men's business right. environment. Right, and we and we've mentioned this before on the podcast when it comes to like women facing accountability, mm -hmm. it is never their fault. It's no. always a man's fault. Yeah. And we loved all these articles and think pieces out there that said that like, did Ghislaine Maxwell really do anything wrong? Or was she just used by there was, powerful there were, men? There were articles like that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow. and and we agree with them. Yeah, that, those are, yeah. I didn't so read those, all, but I also- like girl boss, yeah. women empowerment, Women are equal, all that. But when one is facing prison time for sex trafficking, it was a man's fault. Yeah, one hundred percent. And also, she did like, nothing wrong. There's also we don't need to know who. Oh yeah, who, yeah. Who, yeah. We don't who need that to. was involved with or yes. any of that stuff. Well, like, we would like to know maybe. Okay, yeah. A lot of people are clamoring for the list. They say, okay, she just got twenty years for sex trafficking. Why don't we know who she trafficked the children they're to? They're like, here's the but, documents of all the all the stuff that was going on. Then they're like, all right, we'll just yeah, we'll just kick that over that there, the and then somewhere. you are in trouble for right. doing what you did. Right. And here's the thing: a lot of people want to see the list. They the lists where, wherever they are, they want those to be made public. We're not ready for that quite yet because we're not sure the public is kind of ready to know. Yeah. Mm everyone on that list so what we propose is that we will take a look at the list that's good yeah and then we'll we'll An be like exclusive we'll list. be like okay if there's ooh donald trump we'll circle that bill clinton mm. cross yeah that, we'll, we'll, cross we'll that find that out. list with a highlighter yeah. and then we'll just kind of that one's good you can share that one right this one's not good let's leave that yeah. one out ooh, uh bill gates will cross that one out yeah. you know we don't want yeah. that one on there yeah. um if there's other and then yeah if there's any republicans we'll circle them mm -hmm. highlight them hopefully and you know fingers crossed we hope the cheeto is on there yeah. but in fact you know what we're gonna take a look at that list we'll, we'll add a few names to the list yeah how about that we'll take that we'll, liberty of we're doctoring just gonna, the yeah, list yeah yeah because that's mean, our truth mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's just important to hey you got a list it's like we're sharing a uh, it's a google doc essentially right so share us the google doc and then we'll just we'll make our changes we'll, and we'll make revisions we'll to it yeah. yeah we'll make revisions to it yeah we'll be that. like okay yeah this yes no yes yes no 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 and all right and here's the list That's, they're like why are there all these like black redactions in, yeah. through it it's like this is what you get okay yeah. and mm -hmm. just be happy you're seeing any of these people yeah so yeah. So yeah, we we hope the list comes out, but not before we get to kind of um, vet it mm -hmm. and approve yeah. who gets to be outed for it. So that's very important. Speaking of sex sex traffickers going to jail, R. Kelly has been placed on suicide watch after being sentenced to thirty years in prison. Wow, his lawyer says so. They're complaining that he's on suicide watch when he's not suicidal. They're saying that makes his his life worse in prison. And it's interesting. A lot of people are pointing out the fact that he a got, he got 30 he years. He got 30 years. And Ghislaine got 20. 20. Mm -hmm. He is, and this is tough for us though, because he is black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, so, Maxwell so is white. We are going to say racism is happening. Right. So they were like, oh, you're black, so are plus gonna, 10 years. Are so. we going to take the position that R. Kelly did nothing wrong because he's black? or uh, I don't know if we'll take that okay. position. Uh, I mean, because it seems like he's publicly just getting annihilated. Yeah. Right? Now, right. we will say, like, you know, people, 
a lot of people are like, how could you listen to his music? And the two woke boys have definitely had several R. Kelly drops on the soundboard. Yes. Uh, and for that we say like, hey, look, people want to say don't listen to his music or whatever, but it's good music, okay? So there is that. And also maybe as his prison sentence, he should be put in a recording studio for 30 years. It and sounds just like churn out some hits. It sounds like you just want more R. Kelly music because you're a huge R. Kelly fan. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of. I mean, okay. well, look, he he needs to make more apologetic music. That's okay. What, he needs to be like, my bad on that. Because, I mean, he had a song called, like, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Right. When he was, mar uh, like, around when he was married to Aaliyah, who was, like, 14 or 15 at the time. Wait, what? You didn't really? know that? Yeah. He married, I think he married Aaliyah. Right. right, the singer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I think she was, like, 15 or something like what? that when they married, yeah. Is that legal? I believe there was some, there, it was a consensual marriage. But, okay. I mean, like, it, I don't know, like. Uh, yeah, it's it was wild, wild story, but I didn't yeah. know about that stuff until later. But okay, but yeah, he did marry Aaliyah when she was like fifteen or some shit, mm -hmm. and you know, so yeah, it's wild, wild story. Yeah, so so yeah, we are our position is that we believe he should go to jail, but be locked in a in recording a, studio in a recording studio, and and for thirty years he should make churn out just more hits hits more yeah. bops more fucking yeah 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 he should yeah so and that's that should be his paying of debt to society okay yeah you know? and that would be you know that's what we propose definitely mm -hmm. definitely there's more speaking of court cases amber heard has asked the verdict to be tossed because of a lack of ed evidence and a fake juror. That's what her lawyer says. She's not asking it to be tossed, right? Wasn't she asking to like redo it? Yes. She, so she redo would, the trial. So, in classic actress form, she's like, "Can we do hey, another hey, take? Cut that yeah. wasn't that wasn't. I wasn't it. feeling. Yeah, can we yeah, do I wasn't take? feeling that case. Yeah. Can we try that? Just run run it back from yeah. the top and like try that case again. Yeah." And like, let's try a different ending where I'm not guilty. Oh, no. Nice. Let's try that. Can we rewrite the script? Just, yeah, because I'm an actress and I have yeah. great ideas. And yeah. why don't we just do it the way I thought about it? Yeah. Because I'm an attractive woman who's never been told no in my life. And yeah. I didn't like that I was told no in the verdict. So let's run that back. But she was innocent. Yeah. And we, we are team. We believe, yeah, we are team fully Amber. team Amber Heard. We yeah. believe all women. Team Amber. Unless um, they say something bad about the two yeah, boys. We would invite are... Amber over, but we're going to go over to her place. Right. Because we don't want her to take a dump in our bed. Right. You know? Right. So. Yes. We'll go to your place. We'll kind of leave. We're not going to tell you where we live, so you can come over and shit in our apartment floor or whatever you do over there. So that's that's kind of what we're all about. Yes. So also the ACLU is suing Johnny Depp for or they're demanding that he pays $38,000 in fees to them because they subpoenaed Johnny's legal team subpoenaed documents from the ACLU to prove Amber never anted up the cash from her divorce settlement, which she said she donated to them. And then the ACLU had to produce 1900 documents and that took a lot of time. The org asked the judge to order Johnny to pay 86000 for the time and expenses associated with the document production. Johnny's lawyers called BS, saying the tab was exorbitant and unreasonable. The judge sided with Johnny and cut the bill pretty much in half, so now Johnny has to pay $38,000. Wait, so, so he has to pay the ACLU because they wrote articles? No, because they looked up. So, so... Amber Heard claimed to give all this money in her divorce settlement to the ACLU. Yeah, right? she pledged like $7 million right. to the ACLU. Then, who who volunteered to write articles defaming Johnny, right? Uh, that I don't know about. But, um, but according to this 
TMZ article here. So then they, since the documents got subpoenaed, they had to show all this evidence, 1900 documents showing that there was no donation from her made. And they're saying because of all the time and effort that it uh, took to produce those documents, mm -hmm. Johnny Depp has to pay for that. Okay. Why not Amber Heard has to pay for it? Not sure. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of like it's kind of like um, not that we have any experience with this, but if a girlfriend asks us to like, like, I want to look through your phone mm -hmm. and then they take our phone and they yeah. they look through it. Yeah. And then they they find some they find some some texts and, yeah. you know, so oh, what don't they find? Right. Yeah. They find some things mm -hmm. and then and then we're. Or let's see. Then we're like, we, hey, we shoot them a Venmo request, right, <laughs> for two million dollars. Yeah, right. They're yeah. like, hey, you gotta, you gotta pony up yeah. for, for like you damages. Just, yeah. Because oh the, wait, no, there's a lot instead of damages. Of, instead of looking through our phone, they asked us to like print out documents of texts mm -hmm. with other girls. Yeah. And then some would say this our behavior is gaslighting just because we're like, oh, fine, you think I'm cheating, bitch? Huh? You think I'm cheating? Fine, I'll print out, I'll show you all my fucking phone, bitch. I'll show you all these texts and all these pictures and all these Snapchats and DMs. I'm not fucking cheating. How dare you fucking accuse me of cheating? And then we'll just, you know, very level-headed, mm -hmm. calm stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we'll print... Holes will be punched in walls. Yeah, yeah. And Slipknot no posters will be placed Post, over those uh, holes. Yeah. Yes. Not right now, but, you know, yeah. At later. some point. Yeah. So we'll print off all this stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll give it to the girl. Mm -hmm. And she's like, okay, I don't know why you... She's like, okay, all these, these documents show that you were cheating. And we're like, okay, fine, whatever. But you still got to pay me mm -hmm. for all yeah. that time it took to print yeah. that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, time is money. Yeah. And we could have uh, making we could have been making so much money with that time. Yeah, and it's just it's a whole thing. Was and that a good analogy? Was that it worked? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll take. Are you it. saying it wasn't? I mean, brilliant? it was. I mean, nothing on this show is anything less than Thank the you. most brilliant. Thank like you. this show is so fucking brilliant. You you might not understand anything that's being said. Yeah. Maybe and some you're probably thinking like. These guys are idiots. They make no sense. No, you just don't get you're it because you're fucking idiot. stupid. You're a fucking idiot. You're an idiot. idiot. You're a fucking you're idiot. Dumb. How about that? Yeah. yeah. You suck. You're dumb. We're yeah. smart and cool. Yeah. Where's your podcast? Yeah. Don't see your podcast, yeah. motherfucker. And if, and if you do have one, we don't care because ours is definitely better. Yeah. So, And then we're going to shoot you a Venmo request. Right. For, also. for accusing us. Yeah. We had to take time on this show talking to your bitch ass. Yeah, and then and we went look and watched your show and we listened to three episodes of your show and then we negatively reviewed it because it sucked. Yeah. And then we plugged that. our show on your reviews of your show. I'm going to start like, doing that. Like, this show is cool, but The Two Woke Boys is the best podcast on the planet. Right. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that with everything. Just send mm -hmm. people... Anytime someone asks me to do anything... Just gonna send them a oh, Venmo. Absolutely. Request. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's gonna what pull you... an ACLU. Mm. Yeah. Which we love. Yeah. I wonder. I want. You know, it'd be sick if you made your Venmo name ACLU. It's probably already been taken. Damn. But fuck. Yeah. yeah. What if it's like ACLU underscore a bunch government. of numbers? Yeah. 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 That's always good. Always. Always yeah. very uh, legitimate. Yeah. Like, I got an email from Coinbase dot. X Y Z F O period right. underscore saying that they need me to send Nigeria them all my money right but now. But they send it in broken English, so so you know uh, it's yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you know computer programmers typically don't know English at all. Right. Yeah. Right. So more girl bosses in the news. Britney Spears ex ordered to trial on a stalking charge. So I'm pulling up this article, but Britney Spears, Total Queen, this was the guy who crashed her wedding and, like, tried Jason to... Jason Alexander? 
Yeah. Not the Seinfeld Not guy. Not the Seinfeld one. Dude, that'd be so Although funny. Although that was, would be amazing. That would rule if it was Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. Yes. Uh, so here it is. A uh, California judge found Monday that there is enough evidence against a man once briefly married to Britney Spears who showed up uninvited at the pop star's wedding to go to trial on a felony stalking charge. Uh, Ventura judge ruled that 40 year old Jason Alexander should be held to answer on the charge along with misdemeanor counts of trespassing, vandalism, and battery. Court record showed not guilty pleas to all the charges were entered by an attorney for Alexander who did not attend and remains jailed. So, again, this is totally not something that we do to every single woman we've ever dated when they're getting married. Mm-hmm. Just crash the wedding. Yeah. I mean, we just got to go. Run up to the altar. Mm. I object. Yeah. And she's like, what are you doing here? I haven't talked to you in seven years. Yeah. You broke up with me back then. Well, I've changed my mind. It's like, Mm. well, yeah, I've been in this relationship for four years now, and he's a much better guy than you. He doesn't have anger problems or punch holes in walls. He doesn't cheat on me and then use phrase sexuality as an excuse. If this wasn't an outdoor wedding, I'd punch another fucking hole in the wall right now. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Because we're passionate. Yeah. I'm sorry that we're so passionate. Right. You know? And we just have to make a scene publicly. Because that that shows how much you care. That you won't show up at, you know, you don't, oh, she's getting married? I'm going to go to that. Yeah. Like you're a ghost, like you didn't exist forever. Then you see publicly, oh, she's getting married. Now's the opportunity, right? To go in like a sitcom, you know, right? And just, you know, I mean, we've said it on the pod before. Like, why does a wedding offer up the? Hey, does anybody want to fuck this up real quick? Hey, I know we're about to get married. Everybody's here for this big wedding. All this shit. Anybody want to ruin it? Yeah. Anybody? And then that's the that's where we swoop, we swoop in. Swoop yeah. in. Well, fuck. Like if if there's a roof, we're repelling from the roof. Nice. With a grappling hook, swinging in there like Jack Sparrow. Yeah. With and you know people would be like, why does that guy have a sword? And it's like, well, we're Jack Sparrow. So right. And we're swinging it around. <laughs> yeah. You know, off the chandelier and shit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Stab a couple of guys with a curvy sword. Fucking, uh, this is my wedding. This is my wedding. God damn it. You know, you should have married me, you stupid bitch. <laughs> with your, it's just a with Hollywood your, yeah, moment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how romantic. I'm firing so, a gun into the air. Right. <laughs> just yeah, like Yosemite his, Sam right. and swinging, swinging my curvy sword. sword. She's like, okay, I I'll marry cut, you. I just cut the cake in half. Yeah. Just blah, 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 blah. Right. Knife in the and then I like lick the cake off the big curvy oh, nice. blade. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. She's like, okay, I'll marry you now, Chris. You're yeah, so like, romantic. Cue up the music, and then fucking Ed Sheeran comes on. When your legs don't work like they used to before, uh, and we're the slow dance, and yeah. I still got my curvy sword right. in my hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Has that ever, has that ever worked for you? <laughs> no. Okay. Not at all. Yeah, because you're probably apprehended by the security. Oh, once right you away. See a guy with well, I mean, it's hard to get a giant. I have a gun one. and a curvy sword, so I mean, I got long range and short yeah. range covered. Yeah, it's tough. To, I mean, it's easy to hide a gun, not as much to hide a. a I mean, curvy I did. Sword. Ha- I, well, I had to walk in with one straight leg, like a limp kind of right. action. They're like, "Why are you walking like that?" I'm like, "You'll see. Don't worry about it. You're gonna see in a minute." Because my leg's straight, but since it's a curvy sword, it's kind of bent. You know, right? I got, it's kind of bent at the knee a little bit to to you know yeah yeah well maybe one day that will that will work out for you mm-hmm. I, i'm gonna I, keep doing it yeah so. yeah you know practice makes perfect and mm-hmm. you know wish wish you the best yeah, we've gotten that. better with the curvy sword no doubt yeah that's good that's yeah. good so other celebrity wedding shit travis barker speaks out following hospitalization for life-threatening pancreatitis is Tra- Travis Barker is the drummer for Blink One Eighty Two? Yeah, and he just married Courtney Kardashian. Is it, which one's the one? One of the Blink One Eighty Two guys is like a huge conspiracy guy or whatever, right? I uh, know. Tom DeLonge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like all about like aliens and shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah gotcha. I love that. 
but yeah so uh travis bar and i always i i can't keep track between like travis barker and machine gun kelly and all these like skinny white guys who are like tatted up head to toe who -hmm. look like they're strung out which i mean it we hate i mean we hate those guys we hate any guy that's not us but any yeah. any guy with like we're clean boys yeah we are clean we're just clean slate mm-hmm. clean canvas yeah now if you're like one of those tattooed sluts or whatever and you're just all about ink or whatever yeah hey wait 10 minutes i'll go down to the grocery store and get those fake tattoos out of that thing and i'll fucking tat up oh yeah i mean they're all gonna be like pokemons or whatever but right. it's I, i'm gonna tat up yeah yeah because yeah, i'm a bad boy Nice, you know? nice. You okay. might even get one of those chain links around oh, your bicep. Oh, yeah. definitely getting. That's so sick. The, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make it like not fully connect too, because like I'm gonna flex my oh yeah jacked ass bicep. Right, so see. strong and alpha. But mm-hmm. yeah, so Travis Barker, he's had this life threatening thing, and um, yeah, it's like what a surprise. This like. This like skinny, anorexic looking, tatted up guy has like a medical problem. Ooh, shocker. Yeah. It's like we could have seen that coming. So mm-hmm. we think it's no better time for Courtney Kardashian to divorce him mm-hmm. and hook up with us. Mm-hmm. Because you're are, lucky I didn't know about that wedding because I would have shown up with a with gun a sword. In, a, in a gun. Yeah. <laughs> right. Gun in a curvy sword. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Because we are very healthy. Mm-hmm. We've never had pancreatitis, and we're just just great physical and mental health. Yeah, our mental health—it's it, is so good, so healthy. We're the peak of mental health. Right. I mean, we talk about it all the time, yeah. which always an indicator that your mental health is good when you won't shut the fuck up about mental right. health. Also, we go to therapy. Uh, therapy, anybody? Yeah. Uh, so maybe, I was talking to my therapist and my mm-hmm. therapist said something crazy and then I said something back and then like is the funniest thing with like yeah. me and my therapist because um therapy uh I had a breakthrough at my therapist nice. because I told them stuff about me. Yeah. Yeah. We love that. We love We love therapy. that yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, so Courtney leave your weird like tatted drugged up uh Goofball, also megan shit. fox leave um your your version of that guy and date us wait who's megan fox machine, machine gun kelly oh yeah and they always come out with their their book they have some they're like the the they're like drinking each other's like, blood right, or they're some like shit. the couple version of demi lovato they have some like they drop some new dumb little story about yeah. themselves every yeah we drink yeah. each other's blood Ooh, we i called him or I yeah, said, can you guys just I have sex? Weed. Yeah, you smell like weed. I am weed. You know, yeah. that's apparently how they met. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, can you just fucking leave us alone, yeah. all right? Yeah. Just shut the fuck up with your dumb little love story. It is weird because it's like, us yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we have Megan to hear Fox. about their dumb relationship bullshit? Yeah. You know? Like, oh, this is just so us. Like, that's their whole thing. Right. But it's like everybody has to see it. Yeah. God, we get it. Yeah, we get it, dude. But if we were dating Megan Fox, we would also be, we would oh, love would bomb her so and, us. and yeah, release yeah. new information yeah. every week to the media about mm. the little quirky things we do together. Yeah, I would share like a sex tape of us on a Instagram story. Yeah, well, that's like, that was pretty out there. Whoops, but... this is so us. It's just us, like really going at it. Yeah, you know, yeah, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, if you're a hot woman out there dating a sickly or married married to or dating a sickly husband going through a horrible health incident, mm-hmm. hit us up in our DMs and date a couple healthy boys. Yeah. Do you have instead. anything Do you have anything you want to plug? Let's see. I don't think so. Just yeah, hit us up in our DMs, famous woman dating sickly husbands who else um do we target any other oh yeah vulnerable women who used to be overweight but now are in great shape and really hot now and still in the mindset of like the mindset and insecurities and vulnerabilities of being overweight definitely hit me up in my dms because i specialize in 
in kind of helping women like that. And I, I just want to help. I'm just here to help. That's we just, are healers. That's just the kind of we guy We are I also am. therapists. Yeah. I mean, we don't have licenses or anything like that, but no. we, we, we listen. Well, oh, we need some government piece of paper to say yeah. you can do therapy now. No, we, no, we, 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 we made our we, own. We've been to therapy yeah. before. And, right. you know, we know how therapy works. Yeah. You know, we have a wall you can punch. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll put our therapy diploma right over it. Yeah. Which is a Hoopa Snake poster. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, come see Jeff Zinisek, ally of the show, in Fort Wayne, Indiana this week. So, if you're anywhere in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area, check out Jeff Zinisek opening up for uh, J.P. Sears out there. Um, also, um, upcoming dates in Louisville, Kentucky, Buffalo, New York, Salt Lake City, Utah, and then also the following week in July, sorry, July 12th, if you're in the Los Angeles area, come to Burbank, the Flappers uh, main room, uh, Jeff Zinesek will be on the uh, Tuesday night show there um, on the 12th in Burbank at Flappers, and then on... Uh, the what is that the 14th through the 16th uh jeff will be in austin sorry the 14th through the 17th austin texas there's uh, several dates in texas for jeff sinisek also christopher columbus will be making an appearance myself love that yeah yeah there will be a two woke boys appearance at the uh sunset strip uh atx comedy club on saturday the 16th so chris is going to give a dialogue about mm. about women's rights and you know we'll field some questions from women that i will talk over them and kind of make my point nice because they don't know what they're talking about yeah they need usually yeah you're yeah. much smarter than them. yeah that well that's why i'm up there to talk about women's rights yeah you know so yeah <clears throat> so uh do that um Go to Jeff's in a sex Instagram for all that stuff. Also, uh, thank you to all the new listeners that we have for the show. So we love you guys. You guys rule. Uh, thank you for commenting on the YouTube pages. We will try to respond to all those. Um, you guys rule. Share the show with your friends. Let people know about the show. That's helping us a lot. And we are very thankful for that. Um, uh, give us five star reviews on Spotify and iTunes if you can do that. We would love uh, those. Those help out a lot. Um, five star reviews on Spotify and iTunes. Uh, share the show on Instagram. Uh, you know, let people know about it. Follow the page on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you have. Follow us on all those. Um, and then send us emails. Two woke boys at gmail dot com. We will, uh, you know, send us an article you want us to talk about, or send us, uh, you know, advice things. We'll give you advice because we know what's going on. Um, and then also donate to the Slut Fund on Venmo and Cash App if you want to help out the show. We would appreciate that. So that being said, thank you for listening to episode one hundred and one of the Two Woke Boys podcast. I am Chris, and I'm Cole, and together we are two. Woke, Woke boys. boys.